Hi, I'm Angela. In case you forgot, because it's been a while. First off, I want to say thank you for all the support and all the love and messages you guys have sent me since my last video and that was two years ago and you guys are constantly supporting me and I really, really appreciate that. You guys have been incredibly patient, encouraging, very kind to me and I'm not gonna cry, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> it really means a lot. Second, I want to apologize as I did not mean to end off on my last video the way I did and I've worried a lot of you guys and that was not my intention. Things happened since then and so I guess this is to catch up with you guys, update you guys if you don't follow me on Instagram because Instagram is the only thing I go on and update um, regarding social media. So let's catch up. Um, I got some noodle tteokbokki. I saw this at the Korean market and oh, it looked so good. It says it's three servings, so that's equivalent to one, right? So let's start making this and catch up. It comes with the rice cake noodles, some fish cake, and then the sauce. It says to rinse the rice cake under water and drain well. Let me do that. Noodles. Fish cake. I have some leftover spam that I'm just going to add into this. It's only two pieces. Super long. They kind of look like udon noodles. The sauce is really good. Hmm. It has a different texture than rice cakes. It's kind of like udon slash rice cake. This is really good. I might buy it again. Fish cake. I'm sorry, there's construction going on. Starting off from the last video, um, this was July or August of 2017. My grandfather's health was declining and I've mentioned this prior to that. He was in and out of the hospital and um, November of 2017, he passed away. And it was incredibly difficult. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get through this video without crying. He passed away from Alzheimer's and to me, I don't know if it has hit me where I feel like he's off on a vacation somewhere. Like he's in Korea and he didn't tell us. <laughs> but that was a big thing that happened that year. Um, let, me, let me start eating something. On top of that, there was family drama and it wasn't a, 2017 wasn't the best year. 
I did some self-reflecting in 2018 and it was hard adjusting back to life. <laughs> One of the things that I tried to do more was to see my friends and actually get out of the house because that's not something that I do. I literally just stay inside all day. I only saw my friends maybe two to three times a year during their birthdays. Um, other times I would just make an excuse not to see them and they've been incredibly patient and understanding so yeah <laughs> i feel like this video is so sad it's not meant to be sad so i've been trying to be a better friend and see them more i see them at least once a week um try to get out of the house more in the beginning it was it was it was difficult um but the more and more that I tried to push myself to go out, um, it got better. I still have my days where if a friend wants to meet up, I'm a little hesitant, but then I tell myself, you can do it, <laughs> just go out. I just can't describe the feeling, but maybe there's some of you guys that will understand who can describe it better. I should eat. Fish cake is really popular in Korea. I'm not that big of a fan of fish cakes. Like, I know for like street foods, um, there's little stands that have this and broth. I could eat a few of these, but I probably won't finish the fish cake portion of this. Mm, my spam! I'm going to be so bloated tomorrow. Her nose is running. Is this shit like a star or a person? I wish I had some cheese. I think that's that. Just pour some cheese on it. That would make this a lot better. More better. So, the summer of last year, I tried to go out more. Um, I also tried to date. And I don't know. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I mean, I'm glad that I'm like pushing myself, but it was just like a lot of things that I'm trying to do. And it's just like, it was a bit overwhelming. Um, I told myself that I wouldn't do online dating. There's a past video for that. Um, but people kept encouraging me to do these apps. I went on a date by one of the apps and it was okay. We didn't really have anything in common um oh before that i went speed dating and when i think of speed dating i think of the movie hitch and um it wasn't like that <laughs> i was incredibly nervous and 
exhausting. It was so exhausting because I think there was 14 guys and girls. So it was a long time. And I think we have five minutes per date. And when you don't connect with someone, five minutes seems like an hour. Some of them were very painful. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever do that again. Speed dating is not for me. Maybe I'll talk about that in detail another time. Also went on a blind date. <laughs> One of my coworkers set me up with, he said it was his friend. Um, turned out it was a guy he barely even knew. Um, one of his church friends and the date did not go well I mean we talked for like three hours and it was me trying to figure out what was happening throughout the whole date he was he was a nice guy he was a nice guy A little racist found out he was conservative and um, very religious as religious uh, was the only thing he mainly talked about one of the things that we had in common was that we come from divorced parents and you know that is very common but for me personally I don't know that many people who um, parents are divorced and for for us um, we both raised by our mother. I don't know if I ever mentioned that my parents are divorced. My parents are divorced. Uh, they've been divorced since I was 10. I think that was the last date I went on. ASMR. People want me to do ASMR, but honestly, I don't even know. Do you want me to eat and do ASMR? Or is like, but you guys say that you like the sound of my voice. So you want me to talk? You want me to whisper? Is that what you want me to whisper? Is that what you're telling me to do? I don't know. I don't think I'm good at whispering. And what would I whisper, whisper about? This food. Okay. Oh, um. November of last year, I went to Japan. Aside from getting out of the house, I went out of the country. So that was a big thing. I saved up money to go to Japan with my friend and that was really fun. We got like this tour package where we went to Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. And that was really fun. And during that time, I brought my camera and I was like, I'm going to film this. And then I couldn't get myself to vlog anything, so instead I did Instagram stories, and that was a bit easier. And I think a part of me filming on Instagram is that I don't have to think too much when I'm filming. And I know that um, that sounds weird, but you know, I can just record on my phone and just not even think twice, just upload it, and you know, I don't have to think too much and it I know it will disappear in 24 hours but for my Japan trip I saved it all on um, my highlight uh, so if you guys want to see my trip from Japan I did one for each day I was there and it's on my Instagram st um, highlight stories thing but that was really fun and I got some snacks from there I got Kit Kats and ramen and I got like the 18 curry uh, spicy chip and so excited I thought okay you know I want to share it with you guys and I still have not opened it and it's been six months since, since then so hopefully 
<laughs> I'll get through them eventually. Uh, I hope that I don't delete this, what I'm filming right now, and that um, it will be a more uh, uh, motivation for me to start filming again. Um, I love, you know, making videos and, you know, talking to you guys and I did not realize how much this was a part of me um, with all the things that I've given up on or failed on this was something I was somewhat consistent of and it really it, I, I didn't know what to do when I took I stopped filming and it was it was, it was hard trying to get back to filming and I can't describe that. <laughs> I feel like I can't describe anything, but I can't describe why I can't, I couldn't. And so I would keep trying. And if you follow Instagram, you know, I've, I've tried filming and deleting <laughs> or I'll set everything up and then I can't film or I hate the way I talk. I hate the way I look, you know, um, I, I keep thinking to myself, like, why am I, no one's going to watch this. Why am I doing this? I couldn't get away from that neg negativity, negativity, but my friends keep encouraging me to do this. You guys keep encouraging me to do this. And finally, I think, I think it was after my birthday. My birthday was a couple weeks ago. Uh, I turned 34 years young. Your message has really helped. And I told myself, okay, Let's do this. Let's try again. And this time just keep trying. And it'll be fine. <laughs> so hopefully this turns out okay. I hope that this wasn't too sad of a video. <laughs> that was not my intention. It's supposed to be a happy update. I thought about the things I'm going to say, but once I turn the camera on, my mind just kind of blanks out and I'm just like, there's footage of me like this for like 10 minutes. So how are you guys doing? Update me on what's been going on with you guys. Mm. By the way, I'm at a very awkward position. This window is has the best lighting, <laughs> so I'm like propped up right next to the sink that was the last noodle
ritual. My main reason for trying to film this video is to update you guys that I'm okay. And again, I'm sorry for ever worrying you guys. That wasn't my intention and I again apologize for that. But I'm okay, I'm taking things slowly. Um, things come in waves. So I'm trying to pick myself back up and hope you guys continue on this journey with me. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.